Hello everyone, Epic Clips here. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little different, and basically, we're going to be doing a Q&A for 10,000 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. Um, so basically, I decided to do this because I figured it's something, I guess, around 10,000 subscribers you can do. I don't know. I figured I would get questions for it, which I did. Kind of surprised, but we got some, and we're going to be uh, <laughs> answering some questions. So I don't know if I'm going to put them on the bottom here. They might be here. They might not be here. We'll see, but I will read out all the questions and who asked them. So first of all, um, Shift asked two questions, and one is, why don't you switch to controller for better accuracy and control? Well, I like controller, and I would 100% switch to it, and I'd love to switch to it, but my 2,000 hours to getting to that same skill level with controller, it's going to take a really, really long time. And also... I've kind of got to the point with keyboard where you're still like almost as good as you could be with controller, so it's really not that bad. But um, his next question, for some reason my phone just keeps on automatically locking. Uh, his next question is, why don't you upload 60 FPS uh, because Rocket League looks fuzzy unless it's 60 FPS? Well, that's because I'm a retard, okay? <laughs> um, I have an SP FPS thing to get the recording in 60 FPS, and sometimes when I stream the night before and twi switch it to 30 for Twitch, I don't switch it back to 60. And then sometimes when I um, like put the video in and render it and stuff, sometimes I forget to click 60 on that too. So that could be one of the two reasons why it's not in 60. That's why some of my videos are in 30 or in some are in 60. I apologize about that and I'm going to try not to do that anymore. Okay, so next one is from hashtag Johnny. And that is, do you have a job besides from YouTube? Um, Kind of. Uh, I work as a lifeguard in the summer. I guess that's kind of a job. So that's that's pretty much what I do during the summertime. But besides from that, no, I go to school. And his other question was, do you consider making YouTube your full-time job? Um, no. Uh, I mean, I would consider making YouTube my full-time job if you you know ever got like a hundred thousand subscribers. Maybe I would take it like more serious and like. 150,000 maybe I'll actually consider it making a full time full time job but like currently at the like viewer and subscriber rate that I'm at it couldn't really be a full time job but um definitely down the road if you know somehow the channel gets that big um <laughs> I would do YouTube as a full time job and probably post like daily and stuff like that no don't hold me to my promise though but most likely um scene Sean not scene Sean uh, asked, what school do you go to? Um, so, as many of you may know, I go to college, and probably a lot of you know what college I go to, because I sometimes wear a shirt saying my college, but uh, I go to Wagner College on um, in New York, uh, so that's pretty much it, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm studying in computer science, that could be the other thing, uh, and I could have probably minor in graphic design, so, you know, that helps out with YouTube. Um, Okay, the next one's from Naughty Gamer. Hmm. Uh, okay, so, hi, do you think it's better to open crates or save keys for items? So, if you're looking for a specific item, unless it's a rare decal, generally you will save money just buying it. And that's pretty much for every game, because most things that people want to buy, it's harder to get in crates. So you could get lucky, but that's the whole thing, is like you buy one key, you open one crate, and you could get that lucky gambling chance, you know, that you get something that would be worth what you're trying to get, or will be what you're trying to get. So it's obviously a lot more efficient to just buy the item, and through trading you could make it cheaper and cheaper because you can trade up to it, but that's more complicated. But yes, in general, buying keys for the item and just buying it off of someone in keys would be cheaper than opening crates, unless you got lucky. Um, but that's the whole thing about crates and gambling. Okay, so next one is from Wyatt, I believe is how you would say that. Uh, and it is, uh, how, oh, my, one second. How long have you been streaming and uploading videos for? Um, so I've been streaming for, I think, about a little over a year now, streaming and uploading. Um, I think my first video is from around Je January, February, so it's a little bit over a year which is pretty crazy to know that a year ago I had like zero subscribers and now I have 10,000 and it's only been, you know, one year. That's, that's pretty, pretty crazy. Um, but next, uh, this guy is I poo on your shoe. That's great. Great name. But he says, I've been sub to you a while. How do you get all the new crates so quickly? 
when the update comes out. Um, so basically, I pride myself on trying to get those crate opening videos literally out as soon as I possibly can. Because, you know, it's it's good. I guess it's good for publicity reasons because you know people will be able to see it and I can get it out to you guys as quick as I possibly can so basically how I get them is I have a whole bunch of people that they if you look through the reddit they're usually pretty reputable people I'd, I'd like to say I have eight and usually all eight of them try to help me get like the 27 crates that I open when the new update comes out so um, that, that's pretty much it it's pretty expensive but I think it's well worth it um, okay so on to the next question from the Thundercat boss and his question for the Q and A: Why did you, why did you start Rocket League and where did you hear about it? Okay, so I started Rocket League back, I believe, in my first replays from. My first replays from uh, like June, I think, of 2015. I started playing it before that, but that's when I started playing it more and more. Um, it was really just like on my popular feed. And I didn't know about supersonic acrobatic rocket power batter cars back in the day, but wasn't really so into that. But this looked like a lot of fun, so I decided to download it, and I played it a couple times. But then, more towards the summer, I uh, I started playing it more, and then towards like the winter time is when I met my team that I play with now, Tim and Zach, that you guys have seen in videos. And basically, playing with them, you know, I had a lot of fun, so then I got a whole bunch of hours, and then I really started enjoying the game, and I'm now addicted to it and have over 2,000 hours. So <laughs> that was the progression on it. Um, my phone has locked every single time I've looked up to answer a question. Uh, the next one is, have you ever broken your keyboard playing Rocket League? That's a great question because you guys know and have said plenty of times I get very angry playing Rocket League. I'm a very rage gamer I guess. Uh, I could literally make a channel probably of rage gaming and just let out all the fury. But uh, yes, I've broken a keyboard that's back there actually. You guys can kind of see it. It just kind of sits there. Um, and I have also broken two mice. Two mice. I don't think both of them were for Rocket League. I think one of them was from another game, but I know another one definitely was from Rocket League. Like, I don't take it out and start smacking it, but I have, like, squeezed it hard enough and, like, crunched it a little bit. But um, the keyboard I just punched, and that, that broke. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so I've, I've broken a keyboard and a mic, so you get um, an answer for both there. Uh, oh, this one's a good one. Uh, so this is, what, who is your favorite Rocket League professional team? Um... Uh, this is a hard one. So, last season, it used to be Take 3, because they were just pretty fun. You know, they were, like, really laid back, and they were just fun to watch, and I enjoyed them. But, um, I think now it has to be G2 to really, um, because Rizzo is my favorite pro out of all of them, and once he got t traded off of Take 3, I mean, Kurnobi's good and stuff, and, I don't know, I enjoy watching them now, they're pretty fun together, so I, I guess it's, I've got to say G2, I, I mean, I hope they do good, uh, it'd be pretty cool, I enjoy watching Rizzo, and I think, you know, he's a really good Rocket League player, but, uh, and I guess I'd have to do from Europe as well, so, hmm, Europe, I don't know, That that's a hard one. I'm not a very big fan of a lot of them from Europe, so it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, I don't even know the pros that are out there right now. I mean, it used to be Oh My Dog last season. That's probably where I'll leave it, is I used to like that team. Um, I believe that was a yeah, that was a European team. But yeah, they were my favorite in Europe. Um, and then this next one is from that one guy, and he says, Do you ever think you'll get into PS4? Um, quite possibly. I'm very much considering getting a PS4 just for the, uh, VR and, you know, just the PlayStation exclusive games and making some videos on that. But yeah, I, I think sometime I may get a PS4, maybe play Rocket League on it. But again, I play on keyboard, so it's a little different. Oh, this one's from my teammate, Zunru. And, uh, first question, who's your favorite teammate to play with? Huh. I think it's gotta be Tim. Don't, don't tell Zach that gotta be Tim. I enjoy playing with Tim. I have ten times better, more fun playing with Tim. But uh, I think, yeah, <laughs> I think that's it. So, um, I actually 
that went a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, I figured that'd be a really quick video because there wasn't really that much questions, but I guess there was a pretty decent amount. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the Q&A. Maybe 20,000, I'll do another one or do something different. Um, but also, I'm going away tomorrow, so or today when the video will be posted, so there'll be some scheduled uploads and stuff, and there won't really be any live streams from here to when I get back. But after that, the montage should be posted when I get back, and maybe we'll do another giveaway then. But uh, we'll have to see. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, <laughs> crazy being at 10,000. We're actually almost at 11,000 now, which is even more crazy. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.